Yellowstone trembles under hundreds of earthquakes and steamboat geyser eruptions, is the Godzilla supervolcano about to rise? Yellowstone National Park, July 10th, 2025. A wave of unease has swept across visitors and scientists alike as Yellowstone just experienced hundreds of earthquakes within days, accompanied by ground cracking and multiple steamboat geyser eruptions. Rumors have begun spreading like wildfire is the giant supervolcano, often called Godzilla, by anxious citizens, finally awakening from its long slumber. According to the US Geological Survey, USGS, over 450 earthquakes were detected beneath Yellowstone's northwestern region in just the past week. The largest quake reached a magnitude of 3.8, strong enough to rattle windows in nearby cabins and jolt campers awake during the early morning hours. We're seeing an earthquake swarm concentrated near the Norris Geyser Basin, extending towards the Steamboat Geyser area, said Dr. Michael Poland, scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO. These swarms are common, but what makes this episode unusual is the rapid succession of tremors combined with ground deformation. Ground cracks emerge near geysers. Hikers reported fresh ground cracks near Porcelain Basin and Back Basin Trails. Some cracks were wide enough to insert a trekking pole, while others showed steaming vents seeping sulfurous gas into the crisp morning air. I was walking near Steamboat Geyser when I saw a long crack stretching across the boardwalk said Elise Thompson, a visitor from Montana. Steam was rising from it, and it smelled like rotten eggs. It felt like the ground was alive. Park rangers quickly closed off affected areas, rerouting visitors to safer paths as geologists arrived to assess whether these fissures were linked to deeper sky hydrothermal activity. Steamboat Geyser's Sudden Fury Within this same period, Steamboat Geyser, the tallest active geyser in the world, erupted twice. The first eruption shot boiling water and steam nearly 300 feet into the sky, rattling wooden boardwalks and drenching the observation decks in mist. The second eruption came just 72 hours later, taking everyone by surprise. <sighs> These eruptions were immense, said park ranger Leo Martinez. You could hear the roar from half a mile away. Tourists were cheering and screaming at the same time. Steamboat's last eruption had been only nine days prior, marking an unusually short interval for a geyser that can remain silent for years or erupt multiple times a month. Scientists are studying whether the current earthquake swarm triggered this activity The Godzilla Supervolcano Fear Online forums and social media have exploded with terrifying headlines. 
Yellowstone's Godzilla Super Volcano is awakening. Ground cracks signal impending doom, and Super Volcano to wipe out humanity. But scientists urge calm, Dr. Poland clarified. While the imagery of a Godzilla supervolcano rising captures public imagination, the reality is far less dramatic. These earthquake swarms are caused by shifting faults and the movement of hydrothermal fluids, not magma forcing its way to the surface. There is no evidence of an impending eruption. The Yellowstone caldera has shown no significant uplift in recent months. In fact, ground deformation data from GPS stations indicates subsidence. The ground slowly sinking rather than bulging upward, which is the opposite of what one would expect before a volcanic eruption. Why are there so many earthquakes? Yellowstone averages 1,000 to 3,000 earthquakes each year due to its complex tectonic and hydrothermal systems. These quakes release built-up stress along faults, shifting the brittle crust above the hot magma chamber. Occasionally, if water rapidly flashes to steam underground, it can cause hydrothermal explosions which are far more dangerous to visitors than an earthquake. Fortunately, no such explosions have been reported during this latest swarm. The Steamboat Connection Research published in 2022 revealed that some steamboat eruptions may be triggered by minor earthquakes which agitate the underground, plumbing systems and allow superheated water to escape explosively. However, this relationship remains rare and complex. Earthquakes shake the pipes, but the water and heat have to be ready for an eruption to occur, explained Dr. Alicia Roman hydrothermal geologist at the University of Wyoming. Intense earthquake swarms exceeding magnitude 5 and drastic changes in geyser and fumarole activity long before an eruption. None of these signs are occurring now.